Well, hello, the internet. You're with Got That Fun. I apologize right here and now if this video is a little bit incoherent and jumps around from topic to topic. I haven't got a script. I haven't really committed very much thought to what I want to say. But to avoid having to go into some great big exposition about the chain of thoughts which led me to make this video, I would encourage you, rather than listening to me explain it for five minutes, just to read the description below and um, hopefully that will bring you up to speed for what follows. All right. Uh, like most of you, I'm sure, I like to think that I am a good person. I hope that I am a good person. But at the same time, I'm not sure if this part's like you guys or not, but uh, I don't really think I am. I think I fail. I don't think I'm a bad person either. I'm not very good. I'm not very bad. I'm a mass of contradictions and anybody who's been following this channel for any length of time probably doesn't need to be told that but you might be surprised to hear that I realize it myself um, for example it's my opinion that uh, one of the arbiters for whether someone is good or bad is how they treat other people right I am almost universally kind to people in my waking life. Um, you know, when I deal with people in a face-to-face -face way, I am always kind, considerate, um, even people that I find slightly objectionable. Uh, the very worst thing I will usually do is just ignore them. Um, I almost never mouth off at anybody, all right? So I'm a pleasant person. But does that make me a good person? I don't think it does. I think it just basically means that's one of the ways I navigate myself through life and in society is, you know, try not to piss too many people off. So for the most part, people will leave me alone, right? So when I just said that last sentence, let it roll around a bit because that betrays a selfishness. I'm nice to other people because it makes my life easier, all right? Now, generally speaking, I'm pretty honest, and I think most of you out there, if you say what makes someone a good person, uh, honesty would be certainly up there in the list somewhere, right? And I am, generally speaking, pretty honest. Most of the time, I think on balance, um, I'm pretty honest, and I'm certainly honest about myself, with myself, and so forth. But when it comes to being honest with other people, well, yes, for the most part, I suppose so, but let's fucking be blunt. Okay, everybody who tells a lie, I don't care if it's a child or an adult, I don't care what culture you come from, I don't care what your skin color is, anything, everybody who tells a lie, tells lies for usually only one reason, and that reason is, it's because it makes their life easier, it gets them out of trouble, it takes the light of suspicion off of them. In other words, people only tell a lie if they've got something to benefit from it. Now you might say, oh, I know people who, who, who just lie for no reason at all. They just lie to see if people will believe them. Yeah, that's their benefit, right? They're actually seeing if people are gullible. They're, it, they're, it's a joke to them. You know, that's what they're all about. Um, so there is a benefit as far as they see it to them lying. They might not acknowledge it as such because they just think they're playing games, but basically it's an ego thing, okay? I think um, there's a quote from Babylon 5 where uh, Commander Sinclair says, says to Garibaldi, everybody lies. The innocent lie because they don't want to be blamed for something they didn't do, and the guilty lie because they have no other choice. I've always liked that quote. Um, and generally speaking, as I say, I, I do try to be honest with people in a face-to-face -face way, and I certainly try to be honest with people here on the internet uh, to a pretty large degree. but. I'm just like everybody else out there. Whether you like it or not, I, I am going to tar the entire human race with the same brush on this one, and I'm going to say it again. If people think they can get away with it, or if they feel it's practically necessary, they're going to lie sometimes, and they do so for their own benefit. Occasionally, I suppose, people might lie for someone else's benefit, i.e. to get someone else out of trouble, but again, if you want to dial it back even further, 
they probably do want someone else to get out of trouble to make their own life easier for some reason. It's my opinion human beings are essentially selfish. Um, I, don't get me wrong, because another sort of measurement, I would say, to whether someone is a good person or not, is whether they're very generous. You know, how generous are you? How often do you give things besides Christmas and birthdays? How often do you buy presents for other people? Do you ever give strangers something? You know, like say for example, you're in the line at a supermarket and someone hasn't got quite the right amount of change. Will you dig into your pocket and hand them some money? Or do you give money to beggars? Do you give money to people? I mean, money may, may be a bad example. But what about your time? If someone stops you in the street and asks you if you can borrow, if they can borrow your phone to make a phone call, are you going to let them? How generous are you with your time? How, how, how willing are you to stop what you're doing and take time for someone else? Now, I'm sure a lot of people would say, oh, I'm very generous, uh, especially with my time. You know, I, I, my time is not my own. Well, good. Uh, maybe you're a better person than I am. You know, I, I, I tend to be very generous. Um, I give things to people for no reason just because I can see that they want them or need them. But I'm also incredibly selfish. And I have decided many years ago, having given this part some thought already, uh, that one of the reasons I'm generous, it, generous is to counterbalance my innate selfishness. I'll give you an example. Um, a few years ago, I used to belong to the gym. And every day after work, I would go to the gym for about an hour, hour and a half. But not to work out. No, 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 no. Uh, nothing that strenuous for me. I would go to the fucking steam sauna, right, and lay there for fucking 45 minutes to an hour, sweating my ass off. Because for me, it was a good way to sort of have some me time, just to unwind. Trust me, it's impossible to be stressed out if you have a sauna every day. And just unwind, get myself sort of centered so that I could carry on and uh, be the kind of person I want to be. But that selfishness took time away from my boy, who I lived with at the time. And of course, I would make up for it by, you know, taking him places, doing things with him. Uh, we, we played chess every single day for years and so on, and, and, and we interacted loads, don't get me wrong. But that hour after work or hour and a half I would spend at the gym, I could have been with my boy, but I wasn't. So, selfish, right? By definition. Self-indulgent, anyway. So yeah, I will indulge myself, um, and I try to make up for it by being very, very generous. Um, so generosity, kindness, um, honesty, I think everybody would probably agree that stuff like that contributes to someone being a good person. But how do we make this determination about which side of the scales uh, wins? Uh, because everybody's inherently selfish. And I'm sorry if you disagree, because I, I, no, we're all inherently selfish. And yeah, I'm pretty much, I don't think I can be talked out of that one. <laughs> anyway, but give it your best shot down below if you really want to have a crack at it. Um, so at what point does your selfishness overriding your um, virtues turn you into a bad person? You know, I mean, I'm going to make one more example before I go on there. Um, dealing with, let, let's take romance in, uh, into the picture now, uh, you know, I don't know anybody who hasn't hurt another person romantically. I've never met that person. You know, sooner or later, we all hurt someone's feelings because we reject them, yeah, or we criticize them, sometimes completely unnecessarily. Uh, it's very easy to hurt someone else's feelings, to cause mental suffering. Causing suffering is definitely something that makes us bad. And yet, like most of you, I'm sure, I've got the fucking balls to say that and, and think it sounds reasonable and make it sound like something I actually mean, and yet I eat animals almost every day. And animals that are produced, you know, um, uh, animals that are produced for food, for sure, uh, many of them suffer. Their living conditions many times are appalling. Now I do take some sort of effort to try to 
know where the source of my food comes from when it comes to the animals I eat, but nevertheless, the point still remains that I know I'm contributing to unnecessary suffering in the animal kingdom. All right? Now, I, I, I try to balance that off by, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't kill anything personally myself except for mosquitoes, ticks, fleas, anything that wants to eat from me, I'm going to kill that fucking bug, right? But, <clears throat> you know, if I find a spider in my house or a wasp flies in or a honeybee or something like that, or a bumblebee, whatever, I'm going to trap it under a glass and a piece of paper and throw it outside and let it be free. But really, uh, how many hamburgers can that make up for? You know what I mean? It's it, a mass of contradictions. I'm not very good. I'm not very bad. I'm not very anything except me. I'm very me. I've learned to live with it. I've learned to be comfortable with it. How comfortable are you with the contradictions in your life? Do you think on balance you're a good person? How do you make that determination? I mean, do you actually have inside your head a set of scales where you weigh up all the bad shit you've done and all the good shit you've done? Because it's my experience that most of us, myself included, are usually in denial about the bad shit we do. So what do you think? I'd really like to hear your thoughts about this subject, so please let's enter a vigorous conversation in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. And until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.